final video lecture uh, wrap up. I wanted to discuss uh, the classroom citizenship uh, scale, the project we've been doing to create that scale, and uh, talk about some questions from week number 11 webinar, and also say a few things about the psychometric project that's due uh, the last day of class. There we go. And so let's look at some of the responses to the week 11 webinar. Uh, one of the ones, one of the responses was, uh, why do employers want their employees to join a union? How does it benefit them? Uh, aside from wages being lowered, uh, now this is a little bit confusing because, uh, first off, usually employers, and I might say that in general, employers do not want their employees to join a union. Uh, the reason why is. Uh, that basically, let me get like a little pointer or something, nice blue here, uh, you know, it comes from the fact that wagers, wages are increased when people join a union and uh, employers generally don't like that because that means they have to pay their employees more money, which means that they get less profit. So companies don't like unions, they don't like their employees to join unions. And as I said uh, last week, or you know, in the week 11 webinar, uh, the one really interesting thing about unions is that if you're a member of the union, or even if you work alongside union members, it leads to higher wages. And so uh, the reason why most people want to join a union is to get paid more. And that's really a reason why companies do not want uh, their employees to join unions. Uh, someone else was uh, confused about uh, the idea of different union jobs. For example, the husband is a bus driver and it was not an option to opt out. And I've also seen this at some retailer, retailers like Macy's. And that's because the Wagner Act basically said that there were several levels of being in a union and the clothes shop is one that still exists and really uh, or and the union shop still exists. The uh, Janus decision that I talked about only affected agency shops and so currently legally you can still have a clothes shop or a union shop and uh, that's where you know clothes shop is when joining a union is a condition of the employment uh, or you know you have to be a union member before you can even apply and a union shop is that you can uh, get a job but you have to join the union uh, you know right away so those are still allowed only the agency shop has been uh, uh, voided by the uh, Janus decision and then also remember that, uh, you know, the student said uh, also, why would someone leave the union and still receive benefits? Uh, do the other members absorb the costs? And of course the answer is yes. Uh, if, for example, I quit the union right now, which because of the Janus decision I can do, I would get the, my union dues back, that is usually taken out of my paycheck, and that's 1% of my salary and I would still be represented by the union. That is, the union would go and they would uh, you know, negotiate a new contract for me. If uh, CUNY violated my contract and I wanted to grieve against CUNY, I could get the union to do that, to file a grievance for me because they're the union. And so I get all these things for free. And what that means is the union is getting a little less money to do these things, which hinders their ability to do them effectively. And uh, the other members absorb the costs, or in, especially if union uh, dues actually increase because too many people leave the union. So as I said, uh, right to work, uh, not really. That's a euphemism. Uh, this is really a, a right to be poor at work. Uh, you know, jaw, uh, bill. Another question, what interests me when we were listening to the recording, oh, and this just is to remind me uh, that uh, 
uh, you know, students seem to be a little bit confused about 90 second answers. And what I mean is each one of those stock questions that you could be asked in an interview, you should have a 90 second answer for. So it's not that all the questions that I asked you, you only can talk for 90 seconds. It's that you should have a 60 to 90 second, that is a one minute to one and a half minute answer to those stock questions. Tell me about yourself. 60 to 90 seconds. Why are you interested in working here? 60 to 90 seconds. Uh, what is your major weakness? 60 to 90 seconds. Well, we know not really should you have a 90 second answer to that question. But what we're saying is you should have stock answers that are around 60 seconds, 90 seconds long, a minute, minute and a half for each one of those questions. All right, and now let's take a look at the classroom citizenship behavior. Uh, you know, uh, scale that we've been creating. So the last thing we did is you, uh, uh, you know, just to remind you is that we uh, did a reliability study earlier in the semester and I also did a factor analysis and that factor analysis told me to uh, split the questions up into four factors or four different subscales, interacting with others, learning support, altruistic, and focused classroom. And then I calculated, I dropped some items based on the uh, factor analysis and the reliability scale, uh, the reliability study. And so I recalculated the reliability. 